In this video, we'll learn how to create a histogram using StatCrunch. And a histogram is a graphical display that's often used to summarize quantitative data. And you may notice that at times, quantitative data is also referred to as interval data. For the purpose of this video, we'll use quantitative and interval as interchangeable terms. So to do this, let's consider the following example. So in this example, you're part of a marketing team and you've been tasked with understanding demographic information about customers at an internet music site. So a survey was sent out to 25 customers and they were asked to respond with basic demographic information. So the variables that we're interested in for this example are the respondent's gender and their age. So if we consider this data set in StatCrunch, you'll notice that the data set has two columns. The first column contains the variable age, which in this case is a quantitative variable. The second column contains the respondent's gender, which is a nominal variable. And as we've seen previously, if we wanted to create a graphical display for the nominal variable of gender, we could either choose to create a bar graph or a pie chart. So for now, let's consider summarizing the distribution of the respondent's age. One way to do this is to create a histogram. So with our data set open in StatCrunch, we'll select graphics followed by histogram. And in the box that appears, we'll click on the quantitative variable for which we'd like to construct a histogram. Now, you'll notice in this case that when you go to select the columns, gender isn't listed as an option, and that's because gender was coded as male or female, and StatCrunch requires some type of numerical response in order to create a histogram. So if we click Next, we can now select whether we would like a frequency histogram or a relative frequency histogram to be created. And we'd also like to place a check mark beside display values above bars if possible. And we'll discuss that option further in just a moment. If we click Next several times, you'll get to the screen where you can add an appropriate title for the histogram that's going to be created. And then we can select Create Graph. And in the output that appears, you'll see the following histogram. Now, remember, we selected display numbers above bars if possible. So, for example, you see that there were seven customers whose ages fell between 30 and 35 years of age. Without the numbers there, it can sometimes be difficult to discern how many observations are in each bar, especially if your data set's incredibly large. Now, one might want to consider what effect the gender of the customer had on the distribution of the ages. And if you go back to the first shot where we were going to create a histogram, you'll notice that you have the group by option. And in this case, we could create histograms for each of our two genders. So if we were to select gender to group by, you then notice that you have the option to do separate graphs for each group. And we're going to consider the case where that's checked and where it's not checked. So if we leave this option unchecked, the first output that we've got gives us a single histogram, which looks just like the histogram we had before, but now things have been color-coded and we see that our male customers are represented in red, while the female customers are represented in blue. Now, with that, we can see that, in general, the male customers were younger than the female customers. If we had checked separate graphs for each group, we'll get one histogram that gives us the distribution of ages for female customers. That's the histogram on the left. And we get another histogram for the distribution of male customers, and that's the histogram on the right. <coughs> 